So, well, I, you know, the, the, uh, so schizophrenia is a mental illness manifested by the patient uh, has disorganized thoughts, delusions, uh, illusions. Uh, so basically, there's thought disorder. Uh, in plain English, the person is unable to differentiate between reality and fantasy or reality and, uh, and uh, something out of this world. Uh, sometimes they think that people are after them, people trying to kill them, poison them, the FBI is after them, the CIA is after them. Uh, they might hear voices, they might see things. Uh, uh, th it's very important, however, that you rule out uh, drug, drugs in the system because methamphetamine causes exactly the same symptoms. Marijuana causes exactly the same symptoms, especially marijuana that is uh, genetically engineered nowadays. Uh, you know, different kinds of marijuana. You know, there's uh, some of them, they're very much, uh, uh, it causes, uh, they cause uh, psychoactive, uh, it has psychoactive ingredients, can cause paranoia. So, uh, cocaine can cause that. Drugs in general, mushroom, uh, what have you, even ecstasy. So, people can become psychotic from drugs. And that's actually the most common reason for psychosis in the United States and around the world. Again, contrary to common belief. Schizophrenia actually is very, very rare. They say it's 1%. I say it's way less than that. Way less than that. Uh, they said it was 1%. That was probably 50 years ago, but the books never changed. And so I would say it's much less than that. The real schizophrenia, the organic, or I should say, I should say organic, I should say the, the actual schizophrenia that is not related to drugs or medical conditions or, is very rare. It's way less than 1%. So you have to rule out these things by doing lab works uh, on the patient. And uh, again, Schizophrenia is almost never, almost never manifested after the age of 20. So if the patient is reached the age of 20 or 22 maximum and they're normal, they're never going to be schizophrenic after that. Again, that's also contrary to common belief, thinking that you're 30 years old and all of a sudden you become schizophrenic. That is nonsense. So usually if somebody has schizophrenia, it manifested by age 14, 15, in high school. They start to act weird, and the family have to pay attention uh, and get them some help. Uh, the, uh, so again, the schizophrenia is a thought disorder, basically. Uh, uh, it's rare. Uh, but uh, it's not uncommon. It can happen. Uh, it happens on a young age, like I said, usually school age. Uh, the family might not notice it, or they might thinking, oh, this guy's a teenager, or he starts acting weird because he's a teenager. You know, I would say if the teenager start acting weird, it's not because he's a teenager. It's you're going to have to investigate. You know, like if they isolate themselves all of a sudden and they don't want to talk to anybody, they, you know, they isolate themselves from their friends, from their family, this is a red flag, okay? This should raise a red flag. Uh, uh, what else? It's treatable, of course. Uh, uh, you can, uh, we start the patient on antipsychotics, and uh, most of the times they do work, they help. Uh, 
But again, I have uh, a different theory on the treatment of uh, uh, schizophrenia. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I don't want to go into that right now. But uh, in general, uh, usually psychiatrists give antipsychotics for the treatment of schizophrenia.